What's going on YouTube? It's your host once again, Crazy Squid, and we're back with another Amiibo training video. And today I'm going to be training somebody that I kind of want to finish, just because I think he'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to go to good uh, battlefield. I don't play on this stage a lot. Like, I don't think I've ever actually played on this stage. In this Smash game, at the very least. So, I'm going to be training Tyrant today. You are level 30. Let's not do that. So, since he's already level 30, that's not too, too bad. I think we can get him up to the level 40 mark. The real question is, what the hell am I going to give him? Because being genuine, he's a big, thick, angry boy. And being a big, thick, angry boy, I'm genuinely kind of debating two things. One, either an unnecessarily high amount of defense, which is possible, or the second option that I have, possibly giving him more relatively random stats, maybe more or less neutral stats. But possibly giving him super armor. Three, two, one, go. Because as of right now, I don't have any heroes that do super armor, like at all. Considering he's a big beefy boy, giving a super armor probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I was gonna fucking kill me with that. Ooh. That was a nice stop. Ooh, shit, that killed. Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize what percentage that was that. I should have been paying attention better. Don't you start doing that. Oh, I tried to do the exact same thing. I don't want him to learn that freaking oh crap. Thank you for stopping me. That actually killed! I keep getting Gannett hits a freaking truck though, so it doesn't really matter what he hits with. If he hits with pretty much anything, he's going to fuck me up. And spikes me with it! Oh, you little bastard! I mean, good, because that's what I wanted you to learn, but. Fuck, I am gonna kick in the ass like that. <laughs> I'm just hoping he doesn't keep learning that. I just realized I lost my freaking final smash because I was an idiot and didn't pay attention to what I had left still. Okay then.
Oh shit, he got me because I wasn't trying to use my freaking ultimate. I should just use my freaking ultimate, honestly. Shit. I should have paid attention more. He got pretty damn high damage too, though. So he's. Bay, another listen to Zelda stage. Stop Back again. Stop. You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's go with uh, let's go with Green Sage this time. Good old Samos. I was like, I keep holding up the up smash, and it keeps going for up tilt instead. Age, where all he does is use fucking up tilt and try to get explosive fucking heat kills. I, uh, I'm not a fan of that. I don't like it whatsoever, honestly. Alright, pirate ship. I forgot about pirate ship, honestly. <laughs> I didn't even remember it was even a freaking stage for a couple seconds there. Uh, again, we go back to Ganondorf. And I go with Old Man and Dorf. Hopefully, still being able to tell the difference. 
Damn, we'll do that. Hopefully. Uh. Three, two, one, go! I didn't want to try to... Okay. Okay. I really want to try to freaking land a fucking warlock punch on this idiot. That is like the one thing that still pisses me off about this game. The fact that I have that much lag after I sh freaking air dodge is a million as shit. I wanted to land a legitimate warlock punch, but the fact that I did a reverse warlock punch and he used his ultimate and it didn't knock me out of it is fucking insane. That is a definite new one for me. <laughs> like at all. That one kind of broke me for a couple seconds there. Ah yes, the Garudo Valley, aka Ganon's hometown, which is the only man living in that goddamn village ever. Like pretty much ever, ever. I think there was like a few of them, but that's pretty much it. Ah, the mighty snap king. Alright, hmm. oh, before I forget, uh, for any of you guys looking to see Anubis again, uh, it's gonna be a little bit. I need to test a couple more things for equipment I could give them. Because there is a lot of equipment that I could end up actually doing. But I'm curious mostly right now whether or not Aura does more, boosts his attack, or if physical does more to boost his attack. 
that's gonna be the big like test I have to do for the most part. But it should be super hard to do. But I have honestly no idea. Okay then. was a fucking legend as well the map. Idris Hill's altar! I like the map that we got from Hero. Hero himself is fucking gross. He's fucking gross. The amount of stupid fucking things you can do with him is disgusting to me. Red Sage! It was from Jack and Dax, because it's been way too fucking long. All I remember is Samos, because he was in all of the Jack one, games. Go! Fuck yourself! I win! The fact that I overpowered Volcano Kick with Warlock Punch is amazing to me. <laughs> Ooh, 158. That's the worst part is it's like, I still haven't seen any use of Warlock Punch like, at all, and that has me kind of concerned. Super armor. Heat. <sighs> Haven't been playing Smash at all in the last couple days, but going back to Ganon feels so good. Oh, 
fact that I made that back is cause for shenanigans in and of itself. You bitch! I was gonna do that to you! That's my job! I disrespect not you! Oh, did not try to smash, but I smashed. Whoopsie. I was trying to go for a grab, and apparently that gave me the input for a smash attack, though. Apparently. I Yes. I think that level four. I'll find out once I get that back to the freaking Amigo Center. That's all I got there, though. Ah, uh, let's fucking see here. Yes, I would like to return to you. So, good news, he's still aggressive. Bad news. This is gonna be fucking horrifying. Uh, oops, wrong one. Yes, back to you, that's me anyway. Level up. Uh, support. Do I want to do super armor or not? That is the question. Mm. The worst part is, like, I really want to use super armor, but I don't want to not have super armor for when I do somebody else who really, really want it. Takes up three fucking slots though. I feel like I can make them better without fucking super armor. Granted, it's more than likely gonna be an armor knight, but I have like eight of them, and I don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do the whole armor knight thing that I've been doing for the last few of those that are actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do armor knight. Reduce the movement speed, greatly increases defense, and slightly increases attack. I think it's a good thing. I think that's like the best spirit in the game. The only one that's arguably better is Super Iron, because you don't fucking flinch when you take a hit until you hit like 100%. But, I don't plan on making Ganon's defense that high to make it so this is going to be busted. If anything, I'd probably do that on like. Maybe a Bowser? Maybe? Hmm. Bowser, maybe an Ike. Um, a couple of different people I can think about that. Um, Donkey Kong at some point. Maybe even a Rob, honestly, but... Because I could picture Rob being one of those, like, I make him to, so he's like an endurance kind of fighter versus something else. But, I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna end up going with Armor Knight. I feel like it'd be funny as shit to give him a little bit of movement speed boost. Imagine Ganon, but fast? Jesus Christ, that'd be horrifying. You know what? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like I said, and I'm gonna go. Here we go, fucking Armor Knight. Armor Knight. Yes, I know it's a legendary class spirit. Ow, there goes another Armor Knight. And... The worst part is, like, I'm gonna give him probably, like, increased physical attack. Being completely genuine. Just attack, which attack, physical attack. Got a lot of physical attack, specifically for things like this. Physical and area attack are like the best things to give in this game at this point. <sighs> Hyper smashes could be good, but I don't want to use Hyper Smash and have him start just spamming the ever living crap out of his smash attacks. Special move power because he's been kicking a lot, but again, physical boost. So, same basic thing. A lot of his, at least, special moves are all physical.
You know what? Yeah. I think we're gonna go Armor Knight and Physical Attack first. Mario. Actually, yeah, it doesn't fucking change anything. He's still aggressive as shit. Uh, yeah. Armor Knight, Physical Attack boost, and then... I think I'm... I don't think I'm going to make him an attack type, I think I'm going to make him a neutral type. But, the real question is, which fucking type do I want to do? Actually... Nope. Dumb. My offensive rating. Really? Cadence has a higher freaking attack stat than fucking... Well, not physically, but to the amiibos, he has a higher attack stat. That's a little bit surprising. Beast Ganon... Beast Ganon's got that attack power, though. Uh, let's fucking see what we got here. I think fucking Donkey Kong's got a hell of a decent attack stat, too. Christ. I don't want to meet a grab type. That's not too bad. He's aggressive. He's a defense type. Uh, Naboo? Sorry, not Naboo. Taboo. Naboo was the first one. Uh, Taboo... I kinda like that. I kinda like that. Like, Jesus Christ, you boost the crap out of his freaking attack. That's actually surprisingly high for an offense spirit. Oh yeah, back to uh, typing. Okay, so now I'm back here. I'm thinking Taboo is going to end up being the one I go with, honestly. Because from what I'm seeing right now, Taboo seems like he's got the higher attack stat that I would want for Ganon. Ah, uh, little baby Link over here is actually not too bad, either. Let's go a little further down. That freakways up. Jesus fucking Christ, Waluigi. Spring Man, though. <laughs> oh, he could be fucking jacked. But he's gonna be a freaking glass jawed son of a bitch. But Armor Knight boosts his defense! Ooh. I think we found a winner, guys. Ooh. Yep. Worst comes to worst, I boost his defense later on. But, this is looking pretty good. This is very promising. I'm pretty curious how this is gonna go. I'm probably gonna die. Speaking of which, do you guys think I should start fighting these guys after they give... I have a specific setup with spirits that makes it so I have like 2500, 2500 for my stats. Do you guys think I should start doing that when I fight the amiibos after... I love... I learn how to fight like specifically the characters we have trained as other amiibos already? Because I've been debating that for the last couple weeks, I'll be fair. But, I have not actually put it into practice yet, other than, uh, I think I tried a couple of things with somebody else at one point. Uh, you know what? I don't normally do it. I'm gonna go gain it one more time. This is just. Actually good. And this is probably going to be the last match because it's already close to the half hour mark. Damage counter though, it went from 70 to 134. He 
that he died real quick. Oh, wow. Well. What? Oh, okay. Forgot there was a freaking list there. Enough. Well, let me first. I didn't turn around at all, so I didn't try to turn around fast enough. So that fucks me in the end. Level 42. I didn't do shit for damage to him. Granted, I also didn't notice that I didn't put him in. My bumpers were a shield that I normally use for grabbing shield. But anyway. Considering how early he died, I might boost his defense in the next video? I don't really know. Uh, again, it all depends how I end up going about it. And that's more or less it for the video. I like the way he's going about his punches and stuff, his kicks and all those good things. I am a little bit disappointed that he's not, like, that he's still using his fucking volcano kick. Because I would fucking kill to see him use a goddamn warlock punch. Hmm. Place physical attack with a neutral special boost. We might have a golden to get there, guys. But I feel like that'd probably be kinda dumb because that just boosts his fucking shit too much to me at least. Uh you know, the more I think about it, I have Armor Knight specifically to boost his defense, but I think I might bring his defense up to around the thousand, or between the thousand and twelve hundred mark, which would drop his freaking attack down to the, I think, thirty-two to three thousand range? Which still isn't too bad, that's still a lot of attack compared to his defense, but I feel like that make him more of a consistent fighter versus just a glass cannon. Oh boy, I'm over 50% dead to another cannon. Hmm. But, whatever. We'll find that out in the next episode. Or from you guys telling me I did something wrong in the comments. If you guys want, again, feel free to tell me whether or not you guys like the way that I'm going with Tyrant. I think it's a pretty good way. Granted, again, Debatable on. I kind of don't want to do it, but I kind of still want to do it. The super armor thing could possibly be entertaining, but I don't want to just use the super armor on something like that because I feel like it'd be kind of wasteful. But anyway, um, hmm. I think he's. I think he'll be okay. Again, might change the defense and stuff, but yeah. next video. If you guys like the video, leave a like. If you really like the video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to get notified whenever I post something, click the little bell thing. That way it just notifies you whenever I post anything like this. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for the video, guys. Uh, leaving links in the description, like always, for Mike and uh, Pete's channels. But. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.